Victoria Davidson shares an emotional reunion with her brother, the biological father of Marcy McBain's adopted son. Mm -hmm. Say McBain, that five the times fast, father, dear. The little boy they named Tommy is now in school. Oh, my God, is Mr. Father, and we named him Sam. Thank you. To let Miss Davidson go. One thing I don't get. Um, Star's Aunt Vicky, she's totally rich, right? Oh, yes. Born with a silver spoon in her mouth. So why is she working in some Renji diner? You know, that's a question we'd all like to know the answer to. While the hostage situation continues, Victoria Lord Davidson reunites with fellow employees of the Bonjour Cafe. It would seem as Davidson... We're supposed to care about this? Here in Paris, why... Mike, make your mind off things. You're starting to sound like me, Langston. Well, don't you want to look nice for tomorrow's welcome home party for your brother? Whatever. I wonder if Cole is watching this stuff. Oh, I'm sure they're hanging on to every word, Shade Buchanan. Oh, really? Then why hasn't he called me yet? And why did you mute the TV? I need to know what's going on. Oh, give it to me. Why isn't Marcy coming out yet? As the standoff continues, and we enter into the fifth hour here, and there's no movement inside the cafe, is the FBI planning to accede to any of Marcy McBain's demands? We have no comment at this time. I better not move. Lieutenant McBain, or more precisely, ex-lieutenant, sources say you were suspended for hiding the truth about your adopted nephew's paternity. Now your entire family is in jeopardy in there. Any regrets? None. Because I said so. Do you see Aunt Vicky in the background? I, I wonder what that reporter's asking her. Oh, let's find out. Uh, I think it's this one. Uh, Miss Davidson, just one question, please. Your friends and family thought you were living a high life in Paris, France. Instead, you came to Paris, Texas and took up waitressing. Why is that? And she's damn good at it. Pardon my French. Look, I, I understand you're desperate for airtime, guys, to fill it, but, but uh, this story is about my brother and his son, and I'd like to keep the focus on that. Okay? I understand you went home uh, after the death of a family friend and just recently returned to Paris. If your family's watching, will you tell them at least what brought you back here? What else? A man, okay? Now leave her alone. That's enough of that. Uh, and Dorian! A man? <sighs> And Dorian, I know you don't want to hear about Aunt Vicky and her new boyfriend, but I need to know about my brother. Fine, we will turn the TV back on you, but you simply cannot keep listening to the same drivel. And I'm sure if something new does happen, the, the, the phone will be ringing off the hook. So if something bad happens, you just don't want me to see it? Please, don't even think that. All right, now, look, get, 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 why don't you sit down? Um... I, I, I want the two of you to just focus on something else. Oh, how about this? Why don't you help me plan Adriana's wedding? Are you kidding me? I'm not helping that traitor. Hi. Star, that is not the way to talk about a relative. Are, are you kidding me, Aunt Dorian? I could say a heck of a lot worse right now about her. Come on! Adriana is the reason why Sam was taken away from us. It's the reason why why he w is in this situation right now. Why Mrs. McBain snapped and is threatening to kill Aunt Vicky. And you best believe that as soon as my dad and mom get back with Sam, we are throwing Adriana and Rex straight in jail. And you know what? I don't think that they cover prison weddings in that magazine. Or I... Langston, um... You've never had a sister, have you? And uh, now that um, you are Adriana's foster sister, you've come at a very, very uh, happy moment in her life. And as her foster sister, you'll be part of the wedding. I will get you a gorgeous dress. So, of course, you'll help me plan the wedding, right? On the next One Life to Live. Somebody want to tell me what is going on here? I just made a move on your wife. We're part of the reason this is happening. You have to love him enough to let him go. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on...